about to take off, leaving Prague. Dude, I had a blast in Prague. Prague is um, a great place. Um, hung out with a bunch of cool Americans, and yeah, I just had a, had a blast. Yesterday, I walked like 23 miles around the city. I posted on Facebook 21, but actually it was 23. And now I'm off to Budapest, Hungary. So I'm at the bus station, and I'm about to take off now. I've been in the store for like five minutes, and I'm just trying to figure out what I want, and I just can't figure out anything, dude. I really just want some peanuts because I don't have much money left. I have like 20 Karanas or whatever. 20 whatever this currency is. And I don't want to give any Euros. Oh, gotta figure this one out. Gosh, it's so noisy. So this bus I'm taking now is like totally packed. And I'm on the way to Budapest. And it's kind of like a, like an airplane service. Like there's a stewardess on the bus. Kind of, it's kind of weird if you ask me and you can order stuff like food and drinks um, and this is like an 8 hour bus ride and the Wi-Fi actually works so I'm really stoked about the Wi-Fi wi -Fi working that's really going to change this whole trip and um yeah I just yeah this is definitely not the the, the perfect uh, trip here but we'll see with the Wi-Fi alright let's check this out guys Oh, I hit the button down there. Let's see. Drink menu. <laughs> oh, wow. So hot drinks are free. So you have to pay for water. <laughs> I'm sure glad they have water on here because I'm going to need some of that. Let's go back. And then here's a uh, menu. I got a handful of snacks, so I don't think I'm gonna need any menu. Don't need no Don't think I will need anything from the menu here. Allergies. Huh. It's just the allergy one. Let's go back. Internet. This thing has an internet browser or something? Google. What? Oh my gosh. This thing has internet. Let's go to, let's see if we can go to YouTube. Oh, it's not available. The internet's down. Let's see if I can get it off the bus. Dude, this was a long ride. Definitely not taking this company again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad to be off that bus thing about this bus is they had their stuff two together the other two buses that I took they're basically empty so it was awesome like I got to sit on the back seat got to sleep the whole time it was great this bus on the other hand was packed and another thing about those other two buses is there are there are, um the other two buses were direct meaning that you got on at one stop you got everyone got off at the next stop this bus here was like three different stops and and they had assigned seats, and that was a bummer because with assigned seats, it sucks because someone was sitting next to me the whole time, except for after the third drop off. Like, I was able to get like my own two seats. Don't think I'm gonna take this bus line again. No way. Someone, this guy at the hostel was telling me, Oh, yeah, you should, um, you should totally like, you know, take this bus. It's cheap, and they have Wi Fi, and they have coffee, and they're stewardess. But, dude, honestly, I think I may fly back. Just arriving in another country. And gotta touch the ground. Now I'm waiting to get my bag. Then I have to get my bag and I either have to take either a subway or some above ground train. I believe it's like six blocks, not six blocks, six stops away. So it shouldn't be that bad. See the bus right there, it says Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's Wi-Fi only in Czech Republic. There's no Wi-Fi in Germany. There's no Wi-Fi in, um, in Hungary. It was also pretty sweet to get a couple free cappuccinos. Still waiting on that bag. I'm so hungry right now. I really want some fried chicken right now, but chances are I'm definitely not gonna find that. I haven't seen like any fried chicken the whole time, except for that day I went to Hooters. All right, another thing about this bus. Okay, so when you're sitting down there, there's this like TV screen in front of you, okay? And 
whenever like okay let's say you have the screen off and it's dark and we're approaching a stop they'll just cut the screen on and it's so freaking bright like i took my hat off and like put my hat on the screen and when i took my hat back down my hat was warm because the screen was so bright and it was so hot oh this is uh this one's fun huh? this one's yeah All right, thanks. Peace out. Now let's figure out where I have to go. I have to go look for some bus or some train or whatever. I'll figure it out. It's not that far away. Maybe it's over here. Problem. I don't know what currency they use in this country, but I don't have any of that currency. I only have euros, and that might be a problem. This is a train station here. The problem I'm running into now is I don't have currency here and I need to pay for the train. The train is on the honor system but I still would like to pay for it and I don't see anything open where I can get change anything in the, anywhere in this area. Well, this country is definitely not like Prague. Prague things were open late at night. I don't see anything open around here and it's 11.49. All right, finally got my ticket. What I did to get the ticket was, I just used my bank card. It worked, it went through. Let's see how this thing works. I don't know. I got a ticket. Let's go. I've only been here like just minutes and I've already noticed some um, Syrian refugees already. Dude, this station is hella clean. Look at it. And guys, you know what I just did? I just had my ticket like right here in my backpack. I was reaching to pull out my GoPro and I was standing too close to the edge there. And as soon as I like reached in and grabbed the GoPro, my ticket goes flying out of my backpack and goes right down there. And I'm like, oh crap, I went through all that effort to get a ticket, and then I just lost it. I mean, the only thing I have is this part now, which is like the receipt. But I don't think that's going to help me if anything goes wrong. So I just cross my fingers. Apparently when I lost my ticket, someone saw me on camera drop it. So the lady came out, and she looked down there, and there was another guy that was explaining to her in, you know, the native language here. That, you know I dropped it and she was just like it's totally fine it's totally fine if you have any problems like tell them to you know call the station she didn't say this in English she said this all in you know you know the, the language here I don't know the language here I'm sorry I'm just bouncing around but yeah so it should be totally fine and if I have any problems she said call the station or she said get get them to call the station I don't think I'm gonna have any problems because I'm literally walking out right now and I don't see anyone and everything should be cool. Now I have to find the place where I'm going and it's less than four blocks away. Dang, is this a club? That looks pretty sweet. Like, I just made a club out of that joint. Just go downstairs and start drinking, start partying. Dude, I really wanna find some food. I don't know if I'm gonna find any food because everything looks like it's closed around here. And I sure hope at the hostel they can um, exchange my money for the currency here i'm so naive now i've been going to so many places i don't even um know the currencies and the languages anymore this place was on a dark street i didn't see a flashy sign outside so i had to really pay attention to the address and i saw the address hidden in the darkness and now i'm inside i just rang the buzzer and got inside and i have to go upstairs to the fourth floor and it's hella dark just dropped the bags off and I'm off looking for some food but first I may have to exchange money and I'm gonna have to go look for that. Those gyros look good. Nice, just got some cash. Now I can go get some food. Totally my favorite meal on this trip. Bye y'all! As now this is one thing I noticed from traveling. Some countries they do it this way. Like they have the scaffolding. The scaffolding looks like this. You know? 
other countries it's like the metal scaffolding but this is like this is wood scaffolding they do a lot of this in southeast asia more third world countries they do it that way but i see they have metal scaffolding on the top 